Hey guys, so this video is a little bit different. This is normally a bonus video that I have locked down in my heritage cooking crash course, but I'm gonna unlock it today and I'm giving it to you for free as a part of the Homesteaders of America Grow Your Own Food collaboration that I'm really excited to be participating in. So after you finish watching this video, be sure to click down into the show notes for a ton of other links and ideas from other homesteaders all across the country that will show you how to grow everything from vegetables to chickens to your own dairy animals and everything in between. It's time to take charge of your food supply and this is the first step. So there are a few things as magical in a homestead kitchen as turning white liquid cream into yellow solid butter. And in this quick video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps you need to know to turn cream, whether it's store-bought or from your very own cow, into the most amazing butter you've ever had. So there's lots of different ways to make butter, but the essence of the process is you just gotta agitate the cream. Now that can happen in a variety of ways, whether it's in a jar with a marble that you shake forever, maybe you did that when you were a kid, or you use a KitchenAid mixer or a food processor or an old fashioned crank butter churn. For the sake of today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make my butter in a food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, that's okay. Just substitute in a stand mixer or a blender or something along those lines. The process is still the same. Now, of course, to make butter, you've gotta start with cream. And if you have your own milk cow, then you probably are swimming in cream and it's no problem for you to make a lot of butter at a time. However, if you are getting your milk from a cow share or maybe just buying cream from the grocery store, you can still make butter. It may not be as yellow and as rich as it would be from your very own dairy animal, but it'll still be delicious. So we're not currently getting a whole lot of cream from our milk cow at the time of this recording, so I am using a store-bought cream. This is just heavy cream. I have about two cups here, and I've been letting it sit on the counter to warm up for about an hour. It's not the end of the world if you pull it straight from the fridge, but I have found it does seem to turn into butter a little bit quicker when it's slightly warmed. So the first thing I'll do is pour this into my food processor. Now, depending on the size of your food processor, pay really close attention to the max fill line on it so you don't add too much cream into the processor. This will cause it to spill out the lid when you're trying to process it and it creates a huge mess. But even if you have to do several small batches, it'll still give you good results. So once we pour our cream into our food processor or our mixer, we're going to turn it on high. And this is the part where you just have to be patient. It takes a little bit of time for the cream to start changing. First, you'll see it turn into whipped cream. Then it will start to get a little bit thicker and a little bit clumpy. And eventually, as you keep going throughout this process on high speed, the butter will break. And when this happens, what you'll see is little globules of yellow butter with lots of white buttermilk. Now, when you see this happen, go ahead and turn off the food processor or mixer and strain the butter chunks out of the buttermilk. Now you can set aside the buttermilk to use in homemade pancakes or waffles or quick breads, and then you'll need to wash the chunks of butter. Now this is important because you want to get as much buttermilk as you possibly can out of the butter. The more you get out, the longer it'll last and it won't spoil quite as easily. To wash your butter, run cold water over the butter chunks, then use a wooden spoon or a butter paddle to press and knead the butter chunks together. Once the water gets cloudy, go ahead and gently pour it off. Don't let any of the butter chunks go down the drain. Add fresh cold water and repeat the process. I found I have to do this two to three times before the water starts running clear, even after I press and knead for a little while. Once you have clear water, go ahead and dump it off one last time, and then you can press the butter into a mold or even just roll it into a log, wrap it tightly in plastic wrap, and stick it in your fridge. If you'd like to salt your butter, you can. I usually just add a little bit of fine sea salt to taste, but more often than not, I just leave it as is. 
Homemade butter generally doesn't last quite as long in the refrigerator as store-bought butter does. I found within four to five days it starts getting a little bit of a funky smell. So if you have a lot of homemade butter and you want it to last throughout the season for you, just pop it in your freezer and defrost as needed. And that's it guys, it's really that easy to make butter at home, whether you're using cream from your very own dairy animals or finding it at the store. Happy butter making!